Earlier this week, we shared a story with you about a new social media campaign to help save Chinatowns across the country. Joining me now is cookbook author Grace Young, who is working really hard to get the word out. Welcome. Hi. Now, you know, there are Chinatowns across the country, and how hard are they struggling? Chinatowns across the country right now are all suffering. Uh, since the start of the pandemic, everyone has seen a drop in foot traffic. Um, there's been uh, vagrant, uh, there have been um, vandalisms, mm. burglaries, uh, less tourists. So each and every Chinatown in this country is struggling. And the one we tend to focus on is the one in Lower Manhattan, which is the largest Chinatown in the country. Um, what kind of business shutdowns are we seeing there? Uh, during the pandemic, we've lost over 150 businesses. Wow. It's heartbreaking. In San Francisco, in August, there were 50 shuttered storefronts on Grant Avenue. And they have a smaller Chinatown than, yes. than we do here, so that really makes a difference. You won, congratulations, this year's Huma James Beard Humanitarian Award for all the work that you've done in the community. And with it came a $20,000 grant, and you took that grant and you donated it to two businesses in um, in Chinatown in Lower Manhattan. Why did you do that? Well, I'm very lucky. It's the Michael Phillips Humanitarian Fund from the James Beard Foundation. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like these two legacy businesses, KK Discount and 47 Division Street Trading, which is Chinatown's oldest uh, butcher shop, they had been having tremendous challenges and I wanted to give them a, a fighting chance. Mm, they must have been so happy. I mean, <laughs> that's going to make a big difference, 10,000 for each of them and so generous of you to do that. Um, let's talk about the new campaign. It's called Support Chinatowns, plural, because we're talking about Chinatowns across the country. And all you have to do is post like a picture or a video showing your love for Chinatown. I actually posted pictures of my favorite dim sum dishes. There they are. And I want to show you some other posts. We have author Amy Tan and chef Andrew Zimmern, and they are uh, talking about what they love about Chinatown. Uh, I'm going to be going up to uh, Chinatown later on today, uh, one of the most historic and important Chinatowns in all of America. I grew up in Chinatowns. I had friends there. I went there with my grandmother as a child to restaurants like Bobo's and Num Wa and Wo Hop. My family celebrated special occasions there, and I still frequent Chinatowns all around the world. Place, and this has a lot of meaning to my family. My father and mother went to this church and got married here. My father lived at the YMCA. And I named a character after Waverly Place. And don't forget, when you do these videos or pictures, use the hashtag support Chinatowns, again, plural. Um, and so many people are getting involved in this. Yeah, we're so lucky to have Amy Andrew Zimmern, mm -hmm. um, the authors of The Walks of Life, uh, contributed, author Kenji Lopez Alt. Um, and I just love all these posts because they're just so heartwarming about everyone's love for Chinatown and people are giving shout outs for like their must have menu items mm -hmm. or something that they love to buy because we need to drive traffic into Chinatown. If everyone did a post like this and got one or two new people coming into Chinatown, that could make all the difference in the world. You made such a good point um, when you were talking, when you were giving the checks away, that one of the owners, uh, I think it was KK Discount, yes. said one day he got two new customers, and that was huge for him. And you pointed out that other huge companies, uh, that wouldn't make a difference. But to him, it made everything. Well, um, I was just so struck. He had said to me that his business was down 50%. Uh, and he specializes in walks and Chinese dishware. And he was, then he said to me, but I had two new customers today. And I was just sort of blown away by that reaction because I thought those two new customers gives him hope and it makes him happy and it gives him possibilities. And right now, so many people are supporting online businesses. Uh, would Amazon notice two new customers? Does Whole Foods or Target care or even realize that there are two new customers? But all of these businesses in Chinatown, 98% of the businesses in Manhattan's Chinatown are um, mom and pop. Yeah. And most of them are immigrant businesses. And these guys put in long hours and they fight tooth and nail. And during the pandemic, they lost their American dream. Mm -hmm. They're fighting every day to just hang in there. And the least we can do is show up, yep. 
dine in the restaurants, shop in the stores, markets, bakeries, and give them some support. Oh, well, I'm heading down there. I head down there almost every weekend. Amy, thank you so much for being here and for all the work you do. Thank you. <laughs>